So, let's talk about trapezoids. So, again, here are the segments. Yeah, nothing's the same on segments. But, what? look at those numbers I've got on the, on the screen. M equals 0.21. M1 equals 0.21. Remember what M stands for in algebra? M stands for slope. So... As you know, a trapezoid has one set of parallel lines. So the M's are telling us that those are parallel, no matter what I do with them. In order for it to be a trapezoid, they always must be parallel. So then that's slope. Sides, nothing ever lined up, came the same. You know, at one time we could make them, you know, a pair, one of them the same. That'd be called an isosceles trapezoid, but that's a special case. Now let's look at those angles. Any angles the same? Well, look at them, nothing. Let's move them down here. Nothing. No angles the same. But an interesting thing does happen. Look at the angles on the left side. 96.94, 83.06. That adds up to 180. Look at the angles on the right side. That adds up to, amazingly enough, 180. So what that says is that a top base angle plus a bottom base angle on the same side are supplementary. That's a property. Back it up, write that down. A top base angle plus a bottom base angle on the same side are supplementary. Um, so slopes at once that a slope's the same. Angle supplementary. Let's look at those diagonals. I wonder if anything happens with diagonals. Again, it's got to happen all the time. So if we move some dots. Yeah, that, no, that, those diagonals are just like doing all sorts of stuff. Nothing being equal. Nothing look like it's bisecting, so no real properties with the diagonals. So, trapezoid, not very exciting. You got to make a set of parallel lines. And then actually, you know, the corners can be anywhere. That's a trapezoid. That's a trapezoid, you know. So, trapezoid's kind of boring. One set of parallels.